Student, today we are going to learn what is the relation between angular velocity and frequency. So, angular velocity is equal to angular displacement by time. Angular velocity is equal to angular displacement by time. So, when the object is in a circular motion, angular velocity we can take it. So, angular velocity which is going to be taken as a omega. So, omega is equal to angular displacement which is going to be taken as angle, angle divided by time. So, we can take it this as a angular velocity. So, when the object is moving full complete circle, so it is going to be a 2 pi. So, theta is going to be 2 pi 360 degree. 2 pi divided by full time taken. I am taking T as a uh, time taken for complete rotation. It is capital T is, go, is equal to omega. So, frequency, frequency is equal to number of oscillation produced in 1 second. So, 1 F is equal to 1 divided by time period. So, 1 divided by time period, we can take it as a frequency. So, we will take it 1 divided by time period as a frequency. So, here we have 1 divided by time period, which one I am going to take it as a frequency. So, 2 pi F. So, relation between angular velocity and frequency. So, omega is equal to 2 pi F. So, this is a final relation. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you everyone.